Hey guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Quincy, Illinois, in the Midwest of the U.S. And today's video is the five things you're going to love and hate about the Midwest U.S. Now, we travel all over the world. I'm actually from the Midwest originally. Pardon the wind. It's a windy day here in my hometown. And I think I give you guys the best and worst of this area where I'm from. Because, you know, I go all over, I go to Spain, I go to Portugal, I go to Brazil. I say the good and bad, and I just want you to know I'm here in my my place, and I'll give you the best and the worst that you're going to see here in the Midwest. Now, the first thing I have to do is explain to you what the Midwest is. Basically, you have the states of Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri, Wisconsin, South Dakota, North Dakota, Ohio, um, Indiana, Michigan, throughout Arkansas, Ohio, like I said. I mean, there's a lot of states here. Basically, you're looking at the heartland or the breadbasket of the United States, okay? Used to be the big manufacturing part of the U.S. as well, okay? So this kind of area. Cities that included are like Chicago, St. Louis, Detroit, Minneapolis, Little Rock, um, things like that, okay? Uh, now, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a very rather uncomfortable position. Now, first off, as you guys know, I always like to do the bad things first to get it out of the way, and then you can focus on the good things later. So the first thing you're, you're going to kind of hate or be annoyed with if you're coming from outside the U.S., when you come to the Midwest, is the distance between the places. Going from St. Louis to Chicago, which are two close cities in the U.S., that takes you five hours of driving. If you're going to go to Chicago out to the Badlands National Park, where Mount Rushmore is, where those, you know, the president's heads are, that's 14 hours of driving. Okay? So you're going to get kind of sick of going around everywhere because it is kind of far to get places. And that's not just in the Midwest, but it's also in the U.S. in general. But in the Midwest, it's more so because there's a lot of farmland in between. And you will see a lot of cornfields and wheat fields when you're driving through the Midwest. So that's the first thing you're going to hate, the distance between the sites or the cities. Okay? The second thing you're not going to like the, about here is, there, well, it's kind of an odd thing, but it's, this, the Midwest has lots of cute little towns and little places, restaurants and, and towns and things like that that you really would love to see. Because, you know, you can go see Chicago and St. Louis and stuff like that, but you never think to come to a place like Quincy, Illinois, or, or Hannibal, Missouri, or things like this. And you wouldn't know to go there unless you knew someone. And that's one of the things you're going to hate is you're not going to get to see things like this unless you know someone. But luckily, here, people are very friendly, and they will give you advice, okay? But I'll talk about their niceness later. But that's the second thing you're going to hate. You're going to miss out on little towns like this because you won't know, because they're not in the tour travel guides and stuff like that. Also, the best restaurants where to go to, because your hotel person usually isn't up on the local places. They give you the chain restaurants, okay? Number three that you're going to hate about the Midwest or dislike, it's kind of a problem they have here. Is it's now called the Rust Belt. We used to have all the manufacturing here in the Midwest. It's all kind of left us. So you have a lot of towns that are in very depressed situations, like Cleveland, Detroit. So you have you know, a bad situation there. So a lot of people have lost their jobs. There's a lot of boarded up buildings, things like that, when you go into some of these bigger cities. So that is kind of a problem. And you, when you drive through, you might notice that. It's like, huh, this doesn't look as nice as it did, you know, when I saw the pictures of it from 20 years ago. Yes, you will see a difference, okay? Number four things you're going to hate here. If the, if the fall has started here, thank goodness, but the summer here is, guys, there's mosquitoes everywhere. You go anywhere from the Great Lakes to the lakes of Arkansas, the mosquitoes are going to eat you alive in the summer. So make sure you bring your spray. Most of the times you're traveling through in the summer, so make sure you have your bug spray, get your off, bring it with you. Okay? And number five of the things you're going to hate about the Midwest is the extreme weather. In the summer, you can have 100 degrees here in the Midwest, which would be like, you know, 37, 39, 40 degrees Celsius. Okay? In the summer. And then in the winter, you can have minus 40, or basically minus 40 Fahrenheit and Celsius are the same thing. I mean, it goes to two extremes. Okay? So you might get a little too hot or you might get a little too cold. So those are the five things you're going to kind of hate about it here. One, the distance between the cities. Two, you need to know people to find the restaurants in the small towns. Three, the rust belt, the things that have kind of fallen apart. Four, the mosquitoes in the summer. And number five, the extreme weathers in summer and winter. Now, what are the things you're going to love about the Midwest? Because there is a lot to love here. I'm from here. I always come back here. You know, people say, Mark, you take your vacations. Yeah, I travel a lot, but it's for, you know, with my family and to do these videos and stuff like that. But when I come home to relax, to go to relax, I come here to the Midwest where my family's from and these things. Okay, so what are the five things you're going to love about the Midwest? First off, in the U.S., the Midwest people are super friendly. 
They're a thousand times more friendly if you're in the Northeast of New York and stuff like that. People here are very genuine and honest. They're not going to sugarcoat things like in the South, and they're not going to be rude like in the Northeast or la-di-da la la like they are in, in the West. People here are very honest. And they're very good to you. You're not going to get ripped off. People will treat you really well. Of course, you know, in the big cities you might get a little ripped off, but it's not that bad. Number two, the thing you're going to love about here is there's four, yeah, I said there's the really hot summers and cold winters, but you get four seasons. So if you want to go to the beach, you know, on the river or the pool or in the lakes, you can do that in the summer. If you want to watch the leaves change in the fall, you can see it. It's beautiful watching the leaves change here in the Midwest in the fall. Winter, you want to have snow at Christmas? Bingo, we've got it. And in the spring, if you want to see the dogwood trees or the flowers blooming, you can see it all over. And that is one thing I really love about here is the four seasons. Number three thing you're going to love about here is these quaint little small towns like Quincy. Or if you're driving on Route 60, the old Route 66, there's all these little towns all over that you can check out that just show what America used to be, get you a really good Americana kind of feel to it. Okay? Number four thing you're going to love about here is the food. Now, my European friends always make fun of American cuisine. Guys, we have our own cuisine. Here you have a very hearty cuisine. It's like grandma's cooking steak and potatoes and fried chicken and apple pie and all these things. And yes, you can go to McDonald's and get that stuff, but it's not the same. So whenever you guys tell me Kentucky Fried Chicken is fried chicken and McDonald's is a hamburger, you guys do not know anything about food. That's one thing you've got to love about the Midwest, okay, it's the food. And number five is, the thing you're going to love out here is it's safe. The Midwest is one of the safest places to go, well, probably the safest place to go in the United States, and it's safe. I mean, lots of places, people don't still don't lock their doors. Obviously, you're going to lock your car and your doors, but you don't really have to in the smaller towns and things like that because it is pretty safe. I mean, it's really safe for U.S. standards because, again, the people are friendly and they kind of look out for each other. So the five things you're going to love about the Midwest, one, the friendly people, two, the four seasons you'll get to enjoy, three, the quaint small towns, and then the big cities. I mean, Chicago's great, okay? Four, the hearty food you're going to be eating here, and number five, it is really safe. So I hope you guys have a nice time here in the U.S., in the Midwest. If you are, come check out my hometown of Quincy, just this little town here in the little park here in, Car in Quincy, Illinois. But if you want to learn more about the U.S. or travel other travel destinations, come check us out at www.waltersworld.com. It's in our more info part or just probably going to pop up here below in a second. So have a great time in the Midwest. Bye.